Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's Down and Dirty is a continuation on our GPS series. Uh, we're out here in Minnesota, which if you don't follow the vlog channel, click up here and uh, go follow the vlog channel so you kind of know where I'm at and what's going on. But all this to say, today we're going to cover in our GPS series, we're going to cover offsets. And that's these two numbers that we haven't really gotten into yet. So the first one we're going to talk about is our vertical offset here. And again, if you haven't watched the beginning videos on how to use this particular GPS uh, and kind of your initial finding your way around, uh, go ahead and click above to see that video because I'm not really going to go through any of the basics. We're going to get right into doing offsets. So your vertical offset is what we're going to cover first. And let's talk about why we would want a vertical offset. Uh, in this situation, we're in our green belt area, and I know for a fact that we need to have about four inches of topsoil down. So what I've done is I've lowered our grade. Our finished grade on this plan is finished, totally done topsoil and everything. But I wanna save that extra couple of inches, I'm sorry, not four inches, about two, two and a half inches of topsoil. And so I want to cut below grade for all of this, knowing that we can go back and topsoil at our finished grade. So there's two ways we can go about this. The first way is because it's small increments, we could just detent down using our buttons on our joystick here. The second way we can do this is we can go into our option right here. We can go into elevation offset and we can either plug in a number manually. So we could do, we want to do, let's see here, 0.2 and we will select minus because we want to go below our grade and we'll accept that and we can apply it and now you can see we have a vertical offset of minus two tenths so that's one way we can do it so another way we can do this is we can go into our menu here we can go elevation offset and we can actually plug in minus two by using our arrow buttons and then what we can do is we can actually save this as a setting. And so we're gonna go down here to save and it saves it as offset number 13. Now that's not very easy to remember, is it? So we're gonna go into memories. There's our offset number 13, our minus 0.2. And we're going to edit that. And we have a full keyboard here. So we're gonna call this green belt. check save and I'm gonna delete this offset because we don't use this offset here so we've you can see we've also got our clay grade for our road is at minus 2.85 so we have that in there as well so what's really cool what I really like about this we're gonna click done apply and now you can see that we have our offset of minus 2 this is what's really cool about this machine remember we had our sub base for our road saved in here. I don't have to go into the menus to get to that. If I tap this elevation, it's gonna cycle to zero, and then it's gonna go through my memories. And so I can jump right in. I know that this is my subgrade for my base of my road. I can jump right down in there. I don't have to go into the menus. Then when I jump back out on the green belt, boom, I'm there. It's all said and done. So that's how elevation offsets, vertical, we, all, we also call them vertical offsets. In fact, you'll more commonly refer to them as vertical offsets. That's how we set these up in this machine. Now let's talk about horizontal offsets because we're working in our green belt area here. And what happens is we have kind of a, it's not even a 2%, I think it's roughly, yeah, it is 2% slope towards the road and then it starts to taper towards the house. And that's represented, that break is represented by this line right here. Well, let's say I wanna just stick to my green belt area with my 2% slope, and I want a guide for that, a reference that I can use to mark that. That's where we use our horizontal reference, which is this number right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our menus, we're gonna to go to horizontal guidance, and we're gonna select our alignment line. Right now it's telling us, all this is showing us is whether we're gonna offset this way or this way to our line. So we're gonna zero that out, set zero just zeros it out. We're gonna select alignment. And remember, my line was over here. And you can zoom in on this screen, if you because like right here where we've got our, our curb, you have several lines you can select. So if we really wanna zoom in to make sure we pick the right line, you can do that. But we're gonna to go to this side of our blade because this is where our pitch changes. We're gonna select that line. 
And now what I want to do is we can offset that. Let's say I wanted to stay one foot this side of that line. So what we can do is we can start bumping this down or the quicker way is we can select it, hit one, accept, and then because you can see here, it's gonna offset us one foot that way, but we wanna go the other way. So we're just gonna hit our plus minus sign, apply. Now what that has done for us is we have a, two lines here represented. The teal line is our original line. The red line is our offset line. And that doesn't look like it's that helpful, but this is where we go into our cross section view and it gets really helpful. So two fingers, I'm gonna swipe over. So we have a traditional view where you also have your sideways view. For doing this sort of grade work, I swipe one more time. And now we have our top down view, but we also have our cross cut view. And right there you can see represented our teal line and our red line. So now what I can do is I can take my machine and I know exactly when my blade tip is one foot over that transition point. If I keep my blade tip right at that line, that's keeping me right in line with that transition point. So we're gonna fall back. Now that we have a vertical and a horizontal offset set up, we're gonna back up and we're gonna make us a pass and we're gonna grade this one foot this side of that transition line. I'm sorry, one foot that side of the transition line because of the way we did our offset. I'm sorry guys. I know I said backward, what I said was backwards there. I apologize. So in fact, good practice. Good practice for everyone. Let's go and change that because we did it wrong. We wanna stay one foot this side, right? So we're gonna go back into horizontal offset. Oh, so interesting. So this is where, a great example, I'm glad this happened while I was making the video. This is where you have to pay attention because when we go to here, to our horizontal guidance, it's showing me that the line's gonna be on this side of our reference line. But when we go to our actual plan, you can see that it's on this side. This is where you just, as an operator, you have to pay attention. You can't, too many people think you can turn this GPS on and your brain can click off. You can't do that, you have to be paying attention. So now that we verified we have our offset set up correctly, both vertical and horizontal, now we're gonna go make our pass. So my automatics are engaged, and this isn't gonna be much of a cut because I've already been cutting through here. We're getting off of our line a little bit, there we go. And now we're gonna make a nice clean pass, and we know that we're one foot this way of our transition line. Oh, and we're getting a little little bit of a cut there. And this is hard clay, so we're digging a little bit. You just need to go nice and slow so the hydraulics don't make a ton of huge chunks. And so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn our hydraulics off, or I'm sorry, our automatics. We're gonna go back and we're gonna clean that up where we chunked it out a little bit. Nice and easy when it starts to dig we're just gonna go nice and easy that's just what you got to do with clay and you can see we're staying in perfect alignment now the side to side I am having to control with my stick here I'm not able the machines not gonna keep me in line left to right but as far as our up and down our vertical the machine is taking care of that aspect of it all we've done is set up a reference line for the side of our blade so that we know exactly where we are. And there we go. And so now on this job, I'll show you a prime example of how we would change this. Now let's say we hop down and grade. And I know for a fact that we're overcutting our roadway by one foot because the plan uh, is only to the back of curb. We need to go slightly past back of curb. So let's say we jump down in the hole and we need to set up our offsets. So the first thing I'm gonna do is my vertical offset. I don't have to go into the menus. We're gonna tap, that zero says out, tap, boom, there's road. And you can see right here, because we've already cut this, it's all to grade with our current offset set up. Because if we zero that out, you're gonna see it's a big fill. But when, we, whoop, I'm sorry, I cycled too far. But when we set it to our road grade, because this is all cut, you'll see it's all to grade. But again, let's say that we jump down in the hole. Now we need to set up our 
horizontal offset. So we're going to go down here to the menu, horizontal offset. We need to select our alignment line. And this is where it's helpful to zoom in on our screen. Here's our back of curb, so we're going to select that. And I want it the, okay, so this is where we get confusing on this one. We remember but that in this particular scenario, it's the opposite. So I want to hit the minus button, apply, and now you can see if we zoom in here. Well, that's interesting again because now the red line is on the opposite side. So if someone in the comments can explain that to me, I'd be curious to see why that's happening. That's an easy fix though. All we do is go in here and push our plus minus button and it'll swap which side it's on. And sure enough, we have our curb line is the teal, which is represented over here. That's our back of curb. And then we have our one foot offset. And now we're totally set up. We'll just zoom that back out. Now we're totally set up to jump down in the hole and cut our road grade. So that's a very quick overview of horizontal and vertical offsets. If you got any questions, absolutely drop them down below in the comments and we'll catch you guys on the next video.